everybody, it's Matt here with Lead Me Outdoors. Um, thought I'd do a quick little gear review on the MSR Titan Kettle. Um, works perfectly with my setup. Shout out to Tuba Solo Hiker. Um, he's a, one of who I originally saw do this setup, and uh, I gotta say it works great. I love it. So um, let me go ahead and show you what's in the bag. Um, right now I'm using the uh, GSI Hilute uh, 1 liter pot bag for my setup. Um, it just seems to fit perfect with this. So um, let me go ahead and show you. Alright, here's everything pulled out. Um, all of this stuff nested inside of the uh, MSR kettle. Um, basically I have the, right here I have the batchstoves.com 10 centimeter uh, pot to bake with with right here you got the ring that uh, sets it up off the bottom of the kettle um, works great uh, I've done it a few times cornbread um, done um, you know uh, triple berry muffins all kinds of stuff so it works great uh, here we got the um, um, windscreen for it works great um, Chopsticks in that bag, a stand in that bag, or a stand right there, it's not a bag. <laughs> um, hot lips, lighter, Petzl igniter, a um, can opener, military can opener, my uh, foldable spoon, Gigapower uh, auto stove, works great, and a 550 milliliter pot by Tokes. So all this stuff here, fit into the MSR kettle um, I thought it would be better to um, put all this stuff instead of had it uh, spread throughout my pack uh, all inside my cooking system and then I could carry a, um, a um, fuel canister separate um, in my bag or a couple because since I'll be doing baking or um, maybe long cooking process type stuff so I um, prefer to take a few canisters just in case so uh that's basically everything that goes in the uh, kettle itself. There's the kettle. It's a great little kettle. So I'm going to show you a little bit more of that right now. All right, here's the uh, titanium kettle. Good look at it. See, it's, uh, it's actually really nice construction. Extremely lightweight very very lightweight my uh, high loot um, GSI pot was probably twice as heavy as this thing so this thing is is pretty awesome I like the the roundness of it it's pretty wide so uh, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space in your pack um, this lid here sits on there pretty good so it ain't coming off in your pack if you like really shake it it'll come off but otherwise that thing it'll ride fine in your pack, especially if you got stuff all stuffed around it. So no need to worry there. As you saw, there's probably a little bit of pressure. Pops right off. There's the inside. As you see, it's been used a few times. So um, cool little pot. I'm gonna show you with the uh, setup. Oh yeah, before I do that, got the handle here. These do get a little hot. So that's why I always bring a bandana and then you can just pick it up like this just in case you don't want to burn your fingers so yeah pretty cool but uh I'm actually going to show you the uh, pot in use and then uh yeah so you guys could all check it out all right all right here's my system all set up so I got the pot up above one of this cool feature here is this locking mechanism it uh won't fall down so you look real close there, if I get that in focus, you see how that latches in right there. So if you push it out, you see that? Then it'll come down. And you basically, just, if you push it over, just like uh, that right there, it ain't going anywhere. So there's the pot. There's my stove and windscreen. Fuel canister, it is pretty low. See how well that works for me. And then, uh, 
Got this uh, little stand um, for my uh, fuel canister there. And then I'll be cooking some veggies. Got cabbage, red pepper, onion, jalapeno, and then turkey kielbasa sliced up with some seasonings and a uh, half of a bouillon cube, chicken bouillon cube. Um, I basically put that all in the pot, a little bit of water, and uh, kind of let it steam itself, cook for, you know, maybe five to ten minutes, and then uh, I just add in some um, sriracha, maybe some uh, Parmesan cheese, and uh yeah, it's really good. Um, so I'll go ahead and set that up and get that going for you guys. All right, there it is with all the veggies inside and the water. So you see it's pretty full. That's a decent sized meal for one person or you could split it up for two, depending on how hungry you are. Um, but uh, there it is. I usually just put this lid back on it. Actually, yeah, pop hold it the back. And then, uh, Let's let that go. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started right now. All right, there it is started up. Love that windscreen, it kind of like traps the heat all in there. See man, that looks pretty cool. So I just let this go for a while. Start simmering and uh, it's actually a pretty easy meal to make, you guys. You can hear that bag in of all those veggies and sausage all chopped up and you can put potatoes in there or whatever. And, uh, yeah, you carry that in the first night and uh, cook that up for a decent meal before you start getting into your dehydrated meals. Or if it's cold enough, I mean, that would probably stay a few days, so um, you could pack in a few meals like that. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm going to let this cook and then... Let you guys see the end product once it's all done. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Look at that. It's like making a stew of sorts. Just took the lid off. But, uh, you turn down the fuel right a bit on this stove. So just kind of let that stew itself with all those veggies and sausage. Basically uh, Montreal steak seasoning in there too. And that chicken bouillon cube. The half of one. But uh, yeah. And uh, let this go for a little bit longer. It should be all good. And I'll show you guys the end product. All right, there it is, all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, serve that up and eat some dinner. But uh, just a bunch of stewed veggies with sausage. Great, great pot, great pot. So uh, yeah, cool. All right, there it is, all served up in my sea to summit bowl. Great th wave thing about cooking that way is uh, not a whole lot of cleanup basically just uh, rinse that out with some little bit of soap and water and you're good to go so nothing sticks I, I really like the stewing method so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, go ahead and give me a like subscribe or uh, leave comments below feel free to share your ideas or your opinions on this by no means is this uh, any way it's saying this is the way it should be is just the way I prefer to do it. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this uh, and have a good day. Thanks.